What is going on YouTube? We have the F900R, which is my brand new bike. And right next to it, we got his bigger brother, Cha-ching! The F900XR. And who might you be asking this person is in front of you? Well, this is my friend Max. Check him out on Instagram. He's a famous photographer all over San Diego. Cars, motorcycles, everything. If you've seen the photos on my channel where I have the thumbnails, Max is the man who records all these photos. So today, we have these two bikes, and me and Max are gonna ride these two bikes and we're gonna compare them because I've done the test review for this one and I've done the test review for this one both of these you've seen on the channel and now me and Max are gonna ride both of them and we're gonna sit down somewhere after the ride and Max doesn't have any experience with my bike yet he's gonna ride this one he's already gonna know what it's gonna be like afterwards he's gonna ride that one and that's fine so and since I have experience with both he will have experience with both we're gonna sit down somewhere we're gonna tell you the differences between these two bikes so it should be pretty fun. Join us for the ride. Where are we gonna go? Um, Coronado Island? Yeah, I think so. Max, so how do you feel about the F900XR since this was your first time riding the bike? Yeah, so I gotta say overall very comfortable bike, um, very similar to the uh, F900R over there I'm imagining, like the Swiss Army knife of bikes as you describe it. Um, very comfy, fast power delivery, it feels really smooth. Daily rider, this would be you know a great bet. So you have that little windscreen, which I have to say doesn't do all that much, but I imagine you could get a taller one aftermarket. You feel it mostly on your helmet, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel it mostly on my helmet. So it's not really doing all that much to help you. But overall, your impression of this bike is that it's very comfortable, it's good for long distances. So now you're gonna get on the F900R, my bike. Yep. My baby that just got delivered today and enjoy it. She's got a quick shifter, not like this one. All right. Well, I rode this bike already, so I know already know what it's like. It's mostly on uh, Max right now. See what he thinks of that bike. Be pretty interesting to see what his perspective is on it. Ah, I like my quick shifter. Quick shifter is definitely a nice option to have. Premium options definitely pay off, even though you have to pay up front. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Definitely more upright than the other bike, that's for sure. What do you think? Quick shifter is nice. He said the quick shifter is really nice. You might be spoiled after this. Yeah. Never knew what I was missing. <laughs> oh man, he's having the time of his life. <laughs> that's the way my bike looks. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. You should look sexy, man. So, we did our test ride, and now it has been concluded. Me and Max are going to give you our opinions of what we think of the R, which is my brand new bike, and I just bought it, and I'm super excited about it. And the XR back here, which is what I'm riding for the day. Got the chance to ride both of them and give you our thoughts. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, we got you covered. So, let's start off with the XR. All right, yeah, so my initial thoughts on the XR, a uh, very smooth bike. Uh, gotten the chance to ride the R9 T in the past. Felt very similar to the stance and weight of that. Um, although I have to say, once you got rolling, felt a little uh, lighter. Very smooth power delivery, not quite as aggressive as the R9T. It's got a little bit less character, I would say, but I think that makes it a great daily rider. Um, also great for long distance travel. This version does not have cruise control, the base model, but uh, still very refined power delivery, very quick when it needs to be, uh, but also you know mellow as well when you need it. Great long distance bike, great bike for around the city. The XR is a fantastic bike. And it's perfect for someone who's looking for an adventure bike, but that just doesn't necessarily want to feel like they're sitting on top of an elephant when they're riding one. It's 
kind of a cross in between the bar version and yeah, the, like X a, the touring bike and an adventure bike. Yeah. yeah, it's a combination of those two. It's not very intimidating. I mean, I was intimidated riding because I've never ridden a bike that big before in my life, right? Yeah. So me having to ride that bike and then, you know, I'm not really a tall person as you already know, somewhere around five six, five seven, so I'm not that tall. Max felt right at home because he was flat footed, right? Mm -hmm. How tall are you? Five ten. Five ten. So somebody five ten, perfect. I mean, I was riding it, so it's not a problem for me either, but regardless, I thought I'd tell you that. So very comfortable bike, yeah. Very comfortable bike, exactly. So, uh, shorter stature, taller stature, people can ride it as well. It's not really an issue. Good news is that the seat options for that bike are, are from 30.5 inches to 34.5. So, depending on how comfortable you want to be with the bike, um, the I lower believe standard is 32 and a half. It's an adventure bike, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. That being said, the only gripe I have with the XR, and you might even agree with this, is that windscreen. Yeah, it's it's useless. useless. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. Boom, mm -hmm. it's useless. Yep, like it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I imagine you could get a, an aftermarket windscreen that's a little taller. Yeah, help keep some of that wind out of your face. But right now, yeah, I mean, it's not really doing a whole lot. It's kind of for show. It's kind of just sitting there, pretending to be a big GS adventure well, bike. It keeps the bugs off your chest when you're going down the highway. But at the same time, all those bugs end up on your on your face. helmet, exactly. on your face because. <laughs> It does a pretty good job, right? It does a very, very good job of shielding all of the wind blast from your chest area up until your neck. But then it takes all of that wind and then funnels it to your head. Yeah. And that's one thing I don't like. So if, if a bike like that, you know, it's an adventure bike, if it's going to have a windscreen, at least it take, should work. It, it should yeah. work, take off all of that wind from my head because that's where it ends up. That's my yeah. only gripe about the bike. Other than that, if I were to get a bike like that, uh, like that base model, I would prefer to have quick shift, and I would prefer to have heated grips. Yeah, it doesn't all make the, sense. All those creature comforts are so nice on the yeah. arm. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to get a bike like that without the creature comforts, because that's a long distance bike. Exactly. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. So if you were to buy something like that, make sure to get the, uh, the quick shifter, the heated grips, all that stuff. It needs the full package. It needs yep. the premium package. It needs the select package. Mm -hmm. And once you get that, I think it's a pretty good bike. But as a base model adventure bike, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think if you're using it for touring, for adventure, you want all those features. If it's just going to be a city bike, you know, going around town, it's probably fine as is. Yeah. You want to save the money. Um, that being said, both of these bikes, I think, would be great city bikes. Just, yeah. You know, short trips. The XR might be a little bit better equipped for long distance with those extra features, but still very similar bikes. Moving along to the R. Talk about the R. I already got the bike. They already know my perspective. It's your first time riding my bike that I just got today. Yeah. Kind of, sort of means that I like Max by giving him my bike. So now that you had your time with the bike, what do you think about it? Compared yeah. to the XR. So it definitely felt, you know, a little bit sportier, a little bit more aggressive uh, suspension felt slightly stiffer um, it's got less travel on the suspension on the R than the XR um, again kind of where the XR is a little bit more of an adventure bike you know love the quick up and down shift something I've never tried before so having that little extra feature really added to the experience so the, the R would be a great bike uh, for just riding around the city um, short trips very fun it felt a little more my style with you know being a little sportier more aggressive the xr felt a little too soft at times um but you know that made a great bike for riding on the highway different purpose bikes exactly for different styles of people yep uh it's it's difficult to say which one's better because they both have the same engines the same capacity the, the xr weighs a little bit more but i didn't really feel it yeah you want they're both very they, they're both pretty heavy bikes the the r version weighs 465 and if I'm not mistaken, the XR weighs 485. Is that correct? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yep. Yeah, the XR fuel tank is 4.5 gallons. The, uh, no, 4.1. XR is 4.1 gallon fuel tank, and the R version is 3.5. Otherwise, they both have very similar features, like the LCD dash is just the best in the business. Yep. The TFT is amazing. Any final thoughts on the XR? And then we can have some final thoughts on the R, and then I'll tell you guys what I think of both of them, and then we'll close it off. Yeah, final thoughts. Uh, XR, great long distance bike. R, great city bike. Um, obviously both very dual purpose. You could use them for both, but I think they're just better equipped for those two 
um, aspects. Definitely, if you can afford it, get the premium features. The quick up and down shift is amazing. Um, you know, never experienced that before, and I'm going to be jealous of Will from now on uh, without having that. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I would say. Uh, yeah, so the XR, if you're looking for a more long-distance uh, touring-style kind of bike, um, you know, longer suspension travel, it's a lot more comfy, I would say, for, for highway riding. Um, R, great bike for riding in the city, going on short trips. I like both bikes. I think they have different purposes for different types of people. Uh, the reason why I chose the R version over the XR, and I think you already know my answer on which one I like better because I bought the uh, I bought the R version, but the reason why I bought it is because I'm looking for a sporty bike. I want to take it on the track, and I want to ride it in third gear in a round city like I did today, and be at 20 miles an hour and be comfortable with the bike and a little bit of up, a little bit upright, not all the way like the XR version. The XR I feel like on long distances is perfect, but because I don't do that every day, I do that once in a while, the R version makes more sense for me, and that's why I got it. So my preference is the R. So my preference would be the R as well, um, just based on the kind of riding I like and the style of bike I like. But you know, if you're looking for that long distance touring bike, yeah, it's a good deal. Sorry. Uh, now we're not saying that the XR is better than the R. We're not saying the R is better than the XR. It's kind of like. This, these are what the differences are, and these are the kind of riders that we are. And this is what we prefer as riders. So for you, it might be totally different, but at least now everybody knows what the differences are. But definitely, if you're going to get any of these bikes, if you can spend the extra coin, make sure you get you get the select package and the premium package. But if you can't, uh, my, my, the initial video that I did of the R version, it was fantastic. I loved it, and I loved it so much that I ended up buying the uh, R version, which is a Hockenheim bread that I absolutely love and I want it. So I got a Hockenheim bread with the select package and the premium package. So that, that about wraps it up. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. But stay tuned for the next episode and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.